Hello and welcome. I am the Restless Kaiser. And I am Johnny B. But together we are Modeling, Modeling for Advantage. Advantage. Nailed it that time, mate. So, mate, today, in the ever-going quest for more interesting things than SPQR... <laughs> Looks Victrix. like you've been shopping, buddy. Mate, bit, bit, of, bit of Vitrix. Every time I look at Vitrix, I'm, I'm pleased. Are you happy with it? I'm, I'm happy with Vitrix, yeah. Quality I'm tempted stuff. to be doing, like, Dacians, not all kinds of crap. Really? Do it. So, I was down at Lost Ark Games in Stephen and Arj... Talking to the old dead grandad voice. gamer there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's, can you cut me a deal there, John? Do you know Boy what I mean? Um, I was looking through the Vitrix stuff. I always look through it. Celtic Chariot. Must be new to them as well, because I don't remember seeing that. No, I mean, I think it, I think it's been out for a while, so we'll, uh, we'll unwrap this have packet. A little we'll talk about so in this set, as well as the instructions which John has got, and it's rare for you to get instructions in, in Vitrix. Like kit, actual ones, yeah. Which, which worries me a little bit. I've got to say, <laughs> I'm thinking they're providing instructions and they don't normally. But you also get five sprues. You get three chariot sprues. So this is going to cost you, it was £30 for It is so, 30 quid, yeah. So it's £10 a chariot plus a chariot. You also get two of these Gallic Armoured Warrior sprues. Just pass one of each of these over Thank for you, you, John, for review purposes. So whether they actually make a Gallic Armoured Warriors, and I, and, and I think that they do, but they might not I'm do. pretty sure they do, but whether they, it's this exact sprue. Yeah, because these guys don't have bases at the feet, and most Vitrix models do. You say that, but yeah. if you look just below some of them, I think there's four separate bases, because they is not shields. I think oh, you have the option. Oh, you have the option I think you have bases. the options. Mate, I had not. I just, just at a glance, I thought they were shields, but they're not. And actually, yeah, so there's a little pin in the feet of these guys on the front foot. I see it. It's not just, it looks, at first glance, it looks again, like a part of the gate, sprue gate, yeah. But it's not, there's a pin at the foot and a little dot in the corner of those. Really interesting design feature. Because a lot of people do chop them off the bases, and that is what I what do, yeah, yeah. saw. Yeah, yeah, so people Ooh. use them on clear bases. So, of the two sprues, of the two sprue types you get in here, this is definitely the least interesting. Um, dude bros, isn't it's it, man? Some, it's some Gallic dude bros. They are armoured warriors. You've got three in chain mail. Three very different sculpts, though, which is nice. Yes. To use as generals and so forth. And the third, the fourth one is in, like, the Greek-style leather cuirass, um, we're complete with tassels and everything. So I, I don't know whether the Gauls ever really wore those, they might be surely the might old be Romans captured Roman had equipment some or some leather goofers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I mean, people trade. You know, you've yeah, got, you, that's you, a you, thing. Yeah. You've got, you've got what you've got. If you've not made a Vitrix kit before, when it comes to these, not everything goes with everything. And um, so, if you show them the back of the yeah. header, John, the interestingly, the, normally you get on the back of. The header, you normally get a list of things that will say oh, it's not there. A, A2 equals, you know, to the B3 oh. square root of what's it. You do get it, you, you get at least some parts on here, but not much about those armoured guys. No. It's no. just the chariots and the riders. But I'm sure that there, there will likely be some sort of information on Tinderwebs yeah, that will. Uh, that's that's interesting. Give you that. I don't know whether that's uh, whether that's an oversight. Mm. Um, but yeah, you've got ten heads. Is that ten or is that twelve? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twelve, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve heads. Twelve heads. Different plumage options. You've got throwing spears, <clears throat> heavy spears, swords. This is a, this is a really nice sprue, and what you've also got is you've got six shield options, which is cracking. I like the goals to have a real blend of shield types. Yeah. It's like this is this is Very my dad's shield. Personalized, yeah, yeah, Not yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a multi generational thing, um, and it just helps the unit look less less. It looked more like a war band yeah. and less like an army. Yeah, completely. Which I, th which completely I think is agree. what you want. In terms of size, they're obviously much more upright than the warlord ones. Very the much so. really hunched over. And their, their noggins are a bit larger, I can confirm their, as their well, when you compare them. Or at least their hair. But the, but the finish on the faces is really crisp. Really crisp detail on the Victory stuff, all throughout the entire range. From what from um, what we've seen. I mean, this is, this is a later it. kit. Some of their early ones did have some criticism. Yeah, fair dues. But these are, these are very solidly defined faces that look different. I'm really, really pleased. And this is like a, a bonus. I think that's it, because the, there are two chariot riders 
um, or three chariot riders on the chariot sprue, but they're really distinctive sculpts. So I think this is to allow you to make some that are a bit more oh, generic. Yeah. So that's that really nice inclusion. But then the chariot sprue itself. This mate, is cool, man. This is beautiful. I wonder if it's a nightmare to put together, which is why they've given me some not, IKEA I'm, instructions. I'm not sure it is. I don't think it's that bad, mate. I'm, I'm seeing separate bits of leather here. I think that's all as, optional. As oh, okay, the reins might be a bit of a pain. There's several but different types of reins. It tells you what it tells you what reins go up. with what <laughs> with what bodies because you've got two. Yeah. You've got two drivers, essentially. You've got two on here. different drivers. So that's good. Yes, that's what that's it looks like on, you. on there, yeah. on them there, destructions. Uh, gives you all the component pieces you need there. Attach yoke. No drivers can be added. Last, for ease of painting. That's a nice little tip there, isn't it? <laughs> nice tip for you. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's not, it's not, so if you were to get like a metal or a <laughs> resin one, have a little look -see. you'd have the kind of chariot body. Yes. And the yoke yes. would kind of be all one piece and then you'd stick some other bits on. Yeah. Whereas this, you, you've you got a, a, a basket weave floor to which you attach sides, a front, a back, then reins, then wheels. Fortunately, it being that type of hard plastic, you can use the plastic glue. Yes. So it's going to fuse solidly. You can do this a little bit at a time. Oh. Dry <laughs> fit paradise, mate. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. There's, be there's be certain. There. You're even making two different chariot types. You've got the, you've got the kind of double... double Double bay. The McDonald's and, one, and then you've got <laughs> yeah. the, the other one. And then the single one. So there's some good options on here. But what's beautiful about oh. the sprues and extras are the I hope riders. you're going to talk about them. Them there look like... Them there look like druids. They look... They look like druids. They're standing. So you've got a Boudicca type character, yeah. and you've got a wild man of the forest type type character. He's seen things, man. <laughs> he, he's currently seeing things. <laughs> I think he's enjoyed the mushrooms. Um, so these are beautiful, not just because they look like the kind of heroes that would ride up and down in a chariot going, Rrr! but because they're, they're perfectly usable as like druids or really mystics or something as separate yeah. models, even if you just put those regular armor they've guys done the, They've done and the they've provided on this bases as well. for them, yeah. Yeah. I, I like that because you get these. Okay, so you get a pack of three chariots. One of them's got her in. One of them's got him in. I don't want to reuse either of those models. No. So, and they've, and they've provided you with options to do that. Have you seen this little totem stuff? That is yes. some awesome. Head on a stick, mate. That's not a good day for that fella. And there's, there's a lot of carried heads. There's a lot of heads. There's What's going on? Not, heads, not stick a head on. We're but... not taking names, we're taking heads. But that was a big thing back then, right? Taking, taking heads. heads, get the power of the 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 juju magic. I, it is a lot of that stuff. We have Roman accounts of what these people did. We don't have their own accounts of what oh, they okay. did. <laughs> <laughs> and the Romans want to. They reckon that the Carthaginians killed they eat their the own dead. Babe, eat babies. Yeah. All of that kind of stuff. Um, you saying rumor? The, 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 the baby killing thing, right? So we the Romans claimed the Phoenicians, the Carthaginians sacrifice their own children to their dark gods oh wow we know now that there are carthaginian graves for children Ooh. carthaginian grave sites just for children yeah that doesn't they're really called, play into the whole let's kill a baby thing it doesn't help does it i mean no, it's no, not no. looking good no 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 they're called tough at this very specifically they're very differently from other carthaginians like in little urns with a few items and so, for a long Propaganda. time, we kind of thought, like, they really do sacrifice their own children to their gods. They seem to have a separate burial ritual for certain children. Saying, or maybe they just have children's burial rites. Yeah. And I think a modern scholarship is starting to think, no, rather than, rather than being so disdainful of their own children, they prefer to sacrifice them. Maybe they were so hurt by the experience, they had a unique grieving process yep. for dead infants. It's, it's difficult to know because we have no surviving records. We only know from the Romans what they said of them. The Romans said that people like the Germans would chop off your heads they and keep them. Win. Yeah. But we don't have any German accounts of that. So, you know, demonise your enemies. Oh, that's yeah, that's sure. how you mo mobilise people. Look, I, I think that you are going to make two very different looking chariots out of this. Yep. And you're not going to mind the third one. 
Um, you're not going to reuse those two characters, but between this set, you've got mounted and dismounted versions of those, and another pair to give to your mate to his him to use in his days. in his army. Really pleased with it. Yeah, I'm 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 very pleased. The addition of the uh, the warrior sprue. Yeah. So like chariots in battle, then, John. Yeah. What They're not what them? you think, are they? Well, it th depends what you think. They're not like scything wheels, run over the bad guys. They, these guys are, are not, battle not in the, they, We've reproduced, we've made these and run around like, you know, horse racing. That don't work. Um, I mean, they're pretty nippy. Oh, but, yeah. But you yeah. could lift the whole thing. It's like Not the horses. Yeah. <laughs> but, but you could lift a two-man chariot yourself. This was just a battle taxi, man. This battle is, taxi. Can you get me over well, there? Well, and, and showmanship and position on the battlefield and so forth. But also, I think, as you look at... We tend to think... We see combat through the lenses of our own experiences. Yeah. For a lot of us, our own experiences are like Call of Duty and stuff. Yeah. Which is a 100% kill rate, all right? Yeah. Every interaction I have, that guy never ran away. He stood there until he was dead. Oh, and jumped and around he, as well. He, he was quite happy, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very bouncy. We walked sideways oh, a lot yeah, of the time. for sure, for sure. But we see them through that, that very much... Modern, much more modern armies are much more highly motivated. They're often ideologically motivated. They believe in what they're doing. Yes, they're not. They're not pressed men fighting a battle where they really don't want to fight. So a lot of it, I think, is a lot more of it is showmanship and brinksmanship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So although, like from the 1600s, people have bayonets and the muskets. There are very few. Uh, there's very little archaeological evidence of bayonet wounds. Right in the in the same period is that no? Here's an option, that? but ideally, yeah, like I want to be at some range. <laughs> that doesn't mean it never happens. Yeah, but I think I think it's I, increasingly, and I think modern scholarship increases things that when one side shows that they're up for it, the other one, the other one has to make that, that, yeah. that fight or flight decision in that moment. Yeah. Yeah. And generally speaking, we'll choose flight. Yeah. So if they're prepared to fight hand to hand then they're expecting to win. That's a legit life <laughs> yeah. and death decision to make. And, to and make right now, yeah, that's not... Come into that. Yeah, exactly. I think... I think so. I think there's a lot more brinksmanship goes on. And certain... So you think that's... Like, if you can rock a chariot at the enemy and they see that coming at you... And, they, and you play chicken. It's going to wobble them, yeah. Whoa, you're playing chicken. Whoa, is it coming to get me? Because if it was entirely the battle taxis, the nobles looking good, the nobles looking important, then you wouldn't have pharaohs winning battles by having 70 chariots. Yeah, okay. That's a lot yeah, of dust kicking there, up. That's a lot of noise. There's definitely a thing about, about certainly, Eastern armies. But the other thing about the chariot is you have to remember is the chariot is a piece of technology predates horseback riding. Right, because that takes their skills. So Lashing, lashing a thing to So it. this is not as good as cavalry. Everybody knows that, but it's from before cavalry. But if you think about the kind of tribal war... war fair yes. that your Celts and your Germans and so forth are involved in before the Romans turn up. That kind of bring that kind of heroic combat, couple of champions racing about looking tough, tossing wee, javelins at each wee. other, trying to keep everybody motivated. Yeah. That might this that might be enough to decide a small tribal dispute. When your Romans turn up, you're suddenly fighting a mass battle for existence. Yeah, that's quite different, right? And this may not be the right weapon for that, because the Romans are prepared to stand up to them rather than run but you know it's a, it's a game though isn't it and they're cool yeah in this instance it is a game and well, they're cool well, well, I, you know if i can have a hero on a chariot Mate, yes pqr take I mean, it i don't think i can you might be able to no i think you can you can have chariots but i don't know whether you can have heroes in chariots yeah that's like the sole purpose of it it's very much in fact that's yeah. where i got my their knowledge from <laughs> their battle knowledge. taxis battle, battle taxis. taxis so yeah, yeah. they, they trundle along and the dude gets off and then you have a fight but i'm definitely going to use these models as druids and stuff mm -hmm. 100 percent. all right guys that's all we've got to say on the subject out of vitrix celtic chariot i think it's a pretty good kit um it, it looks it looks beautiful the addition of those two sculpts in there the heads on a stick the kind of druidic totem yes. image that comes with that is a bits. really nice and unexpected element of the kit the fact that it's got three chariots instead of two and some spare dudes that you can use as commanders really nice addition to your celtic or gallic army happy days thank you for watching bye bye bye, -bye. If you're enjoying our SPQR content and thinking about getting involved yourself, 
do consider buying the starter sets from our website modelingforadvantage.co.uk at 15% off. It's a great way of supporting the channel rather than just giving us money, buy your models and we earn a little bit. Thank you. Alright, so what did you get in this kit? As well as the instruction bits, which uh, Johnny B is holding. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> bro, mate. Oh, bro. <laughs> right. 